Good afternoon. Surgery to remove pancreas tumors is one of the most complex and technically challenging cancer operations that surgeons perform. It is the mainstay of treatment for patients who have pancreatic cancer that is localized. As many of you know, pancreas cancer is associated with a low survival rate. But what you may not know is that although it is currently the fourth leading cause of cancer deaths in the United States, it is projected to be the second leading cause of cancer deaths in the year 2020. Now one of the factors that contributes to the prognosis of pancreatic cancer is that it is often detected at an advanced stage when surgery is not possible. Surgical removal of pancreas tumors is the only treatment option for patients with pancreatic cancer for potential cure. However, surgical removal is quite complex. And why is that? Because it is located deep in the abdominal cavity, surrounded by critical structures that is often referred to, could be comparable to Times Square, a very busy location in the abdominal cavity. Removal of a tumor in this region of the pancreas is often referred to as a Whipple operation. And it involves cutting the pancreas in half and then detaching it from the critical structures that surround the pancreas. We would call this now half time because now we have to put the patient back together. And there are multiple structures that we have to reconnect during this operation. This takes about five to six hours to do. However, when challenging and difficult cases, it can be up to seven to nine hours to accomplish. This is a typical incision required for such an operation. You can see that it's quite large. However, with innovative techniques and new technology, we are attempting to change that um, approach. I'm gonna show a video of some of the advances in some of the instrumentation that's now available in surgical techniques. In this video, using some robotic assisted technology, you're able to peel the skin, not only peel the skin off of this grape, but then able to suture it back in place. This innovation and in technology allows us to perform some of the complex oper components of the Whipple operation and to do it with robotic assistance. The next video is a video of one of those connections where we go ahead and are connecting the pancreas to the intestines. And here, we are connecting the intestines to the opening of the pancreas. This is approximately uh, 1 16th to an eighth of an inch big, and we're using suture about the thickness of the human hair to do so, all done robotically. With this technology and technique, we can now perform the operation with incisions depicted on the right of the screen, significantly smaller. This type of approach leads to less pain, shorter hospital stay, and faster recovery, all desirable um, outcomes. I'm pleased to say that last year our team performed the first such robotic uh, Whipple operation here on Long Island, and since then we've continued to perform numerous um, operations, all with excellent outcomes. This is a team effort. It requires uh, skilled and dedicated surgeons, and I'm, and I'm pleased for my partner to, to announce my partner, Dr. Georgiakis, who has the expertise that we're capable of performing such operations here on Long Island. But the team and the effort starts from above with the support of hospital, cancer center, and surgical leadership who provide the resources and the opportunity, as well as the dedication and the commitment of the nursing staff and OR support uh, uh, personnel to accomplish this surgical endeavor. There are countless other people who are involved and help in this, in this um, Herculean surgical event. 
Surgical removal of pancreas tumors using this technology is revolutionizing the surgical management of pancreatic cancer. It's gonna be the future in the treatment of this condition. And I'm proud to say that we at Stony Brook are leading efforts in this endeavor. Thank you.